Hello, hand printer community. Uh, today it's scorching hot, so I'm I'm having an open window. I hope the sound won't be too horrible. This week I've, uh, I didn't bother updating the the goal because we're getting so close to actually, or I'm getting so close to actually finishing everything I've planned that uh, I can now just uh, keep all the tasks in my head. There are, there are a few small tasks left, or small, I can remember them. Let's see, I can, I can try to, to explain to you what's the important parts that are left. It's a uh, new anchor roller, that's not done. It's these parts let's see and uh, it's uh, it's making the motor spin of course and it's to implement the special G codes and when that is done uh, the machine can be released and I might be able to reach my July 1st goal uh, except the waiting for parts okay so um, I haven't been able to reach the, the wildly ambitious goal of uh, having all parts printed and having motors moving but I will show you what I've got anyways. I thought I'd give you a little demo of, of this thing. The, the motor and the spool and the belt setup. I made an awful lot of improvements in this department. See, is this good? Should we have a bit more distance? First thing I can show you before I start the machine is the, is the spool covers. I ran out of plastic, so I only have one. One of these newest spool uh, covers, but they don't rotate as the previous ones did that I showed last week. I will show you how to how to attach it and how to, how to use it. As promised, we have a, a solid spool core here that you can um, take out like that. Be sure to always leave a little little bit of it to, to be able to grab it, otherwise you have to push from the other side and uh, that can be a, a tiny bit of hassle okay we want to take off the belt from the spool like that we want the opening the opening that lets the line go out we want to be uh, in this come out in this direction like that and we want to have it belt on again and as you see we don't get the belt on with the spool cover on And this is impractical, uh, so there's there's a fix to make everything more practical uh, this time compared to the previous prototype. We can just flip off the, the belt there, which gives us more belt to work with here. Like that, let's see. We can push it through, and now I ex expect it to not flip 
flip on the motor again as easily because now basically it's it's very tight because it has to be when the machine is running there belt is on all the way around and we can't get it on the motor and there is a fix for that too we have these screws here that they can tighten and untighten the belt and that's extremely useful sometimes ok I need my allen key as well to no I don't ok there just screw this up don't screw it up though just loosen these uh, screws and there, there it's on and then the belt is completely loose of course you have to tighten this again tighten them carefully he says and then tightens like a madman okay belt is fairly tight okay I forgot to put back the core Let's see how smooth this is pretty slick okay so that's the that's the core or I mean that's the covers the, this one is getting replaced as soon as I get more filament but Okay, that's that was the first demo, demo of this part. You see, also I've, I've added these little uh, earmuffs, which you can run a screw through, like that, to to adjust the opening, width of the opening here. That might be useful. I don't know. But I will take I will take that cover off again because it's it's in the way of the next demo. I also want to demo that. Uh, the torque mode of these motors will work much much better on this machine than it did on the prototype one so let's see can i get the get the belt off yes i can can I get the core out? Of course I can. Because it's so practical. Just in three simple steps. Okay. Not like that. Okay, there's a final feature of this cover part that I didn't talk about. But it's very important. It's this little lip here. It it makes it so that you can squeeze these cover parts against each other in the bottom and have the exact right distance between without having to measure. That's great. Okay, enough covers. Covers are covered. Back with the coverless spool. Attach the belt. that put back the core like that and tighten I should have gotten my cordless drill to tighten on that in this ok 
Okay. Basically, good. You can feel you can feel the screw on the other side with your finger to know when you're actually lowering it. This is good. So now, uh, in the next demo, it will be a demo of torque mode, but I won't go through the I won't go through the Duet mainboard just yet. I will use a USB cord. Be, let's be very transparent here. So all the USB cord openings are, are reachable in the way I've mounted these, these circuit boards. Let's put that in there. And now I'm going to attach power. That's a little demo in itself because I've gotten rid of the loud beep. Just, just uh, try to hear the absence of a beep when I when I plug the machine now. It's already on. It's already working. It's starting much quicker than before, and quiet. It's wonderful. Okay. So, uh, waking up my computer. I don't know if you're interested in actually knowing the commands. Ah, uh, that, that's not too interesting. Just excuse me while I punch a few buttons. All the right to finding my old drive uh, input torque this is motor zero set the torque to zero and put this you can see it's in position mode because it's working against me when I do this putting it in torque mode now it's in torque mode with the zero torque and what I wanted to show you was how smooth this is you see there's there's no heck, 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 like it was on the previous prototype the previous prototype I could move it but not silky smooth as this one because I have enabled anti-cogging Anti-cogging is basically that uh, there's a problem with the cheap DC motors because they have a stator and a rotor with magnets lined up like that. So the stator in the center and the rotor around. And when the when the magnets line up, they want to stay there. And you have to push it around and they said stick. And it's so it's it cogs around like that. And what the old drives can do is that uh, whenever the magnets uh, put forces on each other like that, the old drive can dr uh, drive it forward with uh, an equal amount of force, so it feels smooth across uh, the magnet boundaries. So it's not hook hook hook. It, instead it's just floating like it feels like it's floating because the driver continuously adds and subtracts the current needed to counteract that cogging and that is very very pleasant and will lead to uh, a torque mode for the for the full for the full hand printer machine that will be just as smooth as butter com compared to the previous one and it will lead to much better uh, and um, auto calibration data being collected as well because previously when I collected that auto calibration data I used as little 
current as possible in the motor so very weak powers because that decreases the amount of cogging so, so I had to I had to reduce the amount of cogging by reducing the amount of force which also decreases you, you, you get this sweet spot where you either you, you destroy the data by having too little force or either you destroy the data by having too much cogging but now we can have more force without having cogging so that's great that was uh, today's demo I hope next time I will be able to show you moving motors and almost fully complete machine okay